So, hello, today we will deal with pneumonia, that is an, an infection of the lungs. And we want now to decide whether the patient will be in the hospital or home. So a patient comes in from outside to the hospital, to the doctor, and then the doctor needs to decide whether the patient needs to be treated at home or in the hospital. And for this, we need a tool called Pneumonia Severity Index. So Pneumonia Severity Index, it's abbreviated. This is a score system that we have here that can then help us in deciding whether the patient will be in the hospital or not. And for this, we need many, many criterias, but this looks more complicated than it is. Okay, so we can uh, have this calculator online. You can find this calculator online and then you just need to uh, decide which one of these you have and the calculator will then calculate the score for you. And this will then help you in deciding whether the patient goes home and gets treated at home or the patient stays in the hospital and gets treated there. And you have a scoring system where you can divide a patient into five groups. Group number one and group number two will go home and be treated at home. Group number four and five will be treated in the hospital. Group number three in the middle can be treated at home or can be treated in the hospital depending on the situation or can be treated at home with a nurse. Then we call it ho uh, hospital in the home, okay? Uh, so remember that group number one and two goes home, group number four and five stays in the hospital and group number three have to be decided. How do we calculate the score? We need, the, we need the first, first of all to ask the age. You will get one point for each uh, each number of years, okay? So you, if you have a 40-year-old patient, then he gets 40 points. The interesting thing is that you, we will give uh, minus 10 points for females. That means if, uh, if a female comes in who is 40 years of age, we only give 30 points. So we need to reduce it with 10 points, only for females, only for women. And then we ask the patient whether the patient lives in a nursing home or not. If the patient lives at home, then you don't give any points. But if the patient lives in a nursing home, then you will give him 10 points. Then we ask about previous diseases. Do the patient have a tumor? Then you get 30 points. Do the patient have liver disease, chronic liver disease? Then you get 20 points. Do the patient have any heart problems, heart failure? Then he gets 10 points. 10 points goes also to vascular diseases. So cerebrovascular diseases. 10 points goes also for kidney diseases. As you can see here, I have grouped these three parts because they all get 10 points. Heart disease, vascular disease, and kidney disease get 10 points. Liver disease get double. It gets 20 points. So liver disease is more important for pneumonia here, it seems. Tumors are even more important. You get three times more, 30 points for tumors. Okay? Then when you have this, you go on with the physical examination. So this is things that you can ask from the patient. From the patient. It, it, this takes, I don't know, 20 seconds to ask or, or a minute to ask, okay? This will take a little bit longer time. The mental status can be, uh, can be also decided quite quickly. So the mental status, is the, uh, state, the mental, the brain activity in the patient not functioning as it should? Do you recognize any uh, weird behavior of the patient? Then you give it 20 points. Is the lung respiration, so do, do the uh, patient breathe more than 30 times per minute? The normal breathing rate is around half of it, so around 15. So you count how many, how many times the patient breathes in one minute, and then you give him 20 points for that. You check the blood pressure, so you measure the blood pressure and if you see it's less than 90 and the pulse is more than 125 per minute, then you give him 10 points for the pulse and you give him 20 points for the blood pressure. So the blood pressure is much more important, double, you give 20 points here and only 10 points for the pulse. Both are important, both add up points. So here I have indicated that these three give 20 points each. 
the mental state is uh, uh, changing, the breathing pattern is more than 30, and the blood pressure is less than 90. Then we measure the pulse, the fever. The fever. So if, if we see that the patient has fever of more than 40 degrees Celsius, then you give him 15 points. Or the opposite, if the, if the temperature is too low, so it's less than 35. So either you have less than 35 or more than 40. But if you're in between, you don't give any points. So if the patient is 36, 37, 38, you don't give any points. If it's less than 35, 15 points. If it's more than 40, 15 points. Then what do we do? This, this is the physical examination. That, that means that uh, the doctor makes this examination after he has been making this anamnesis, so uh, uh, speaking to the patient. After physical examination, we go on with the lab values. So here we have the lab. Okay. And we, what can we see in the lab? The pH, blood, urea, nitrogen, sodium and glucose. We can also see hematocrit values and oxygen level. So these are the things that you can check in the lab. So in order for you to check all these, you need to take a blood sample from the patient. So we puncture the artery or the vein, we take, we take a blood from it and then we uh, send it to the lab. And if the pH is less than 7.35, then you give him 30 points. If the blood urea nitrogen level in the blood is more than 30 milligram per deciliter, you give him 20 points. If the sodium is less than 130 millimol per liter, then you give him 20 points. So these two will be given, uh, 20 points will be given for blood urea nitrogen and sodium. For glucose, which is more than 250 milligram per deciliter, you give 10 points. So as you see from these lab values, the pH is the most important. If the pH is less than 7.35, you give him 30 points. It's three times more important than the glucose level. Hematocrit. If that is less than 30%, you give him 10 points. If the oxygen level in the blood is less than 60 millimeter mercury you give him 10 points or you can measure the oxygen also by a pulse oximeter which means that you put the device on the finger and if it's less than 90 percent then you also give him 10 points so from the lab which is the most important pH and then blood urea nitrogen and sodium and then you give for glucose for hematocrit and for oxygen you give all of these 10 points. Good. The last step is x-ray. That is a radiographic picture that you take of the lung and if you see pleural effusions, so water in the lungs, then you give him 10 points. And as you see, it only gets 10 points. And this is the most expensive test, but this is the most important when it comes to the diagnosis. You need, player, you need, a, a, a run, you need an x-ray of the lung if you want to diagnose patients with, with pneumonia. But in this score, you only get 10 points because this score was there for you to decide whether the patient will be uh, going home or, or will stay in the hospital. And how can we now decide whether, whether um, the patient will stay home or not? You give him points. And you need to remember uh, three numbers, actually. If you remember three numbers, uh, and that these numbers are 70, I will write it somewhere, if I have some place. Let's write it here. You have 70, you have 90, and you have 130. Here we have zero. 70, 90, 130. If the patient gets a score of zero, then this patient is in category one. If the patient have a score of zero to 70, then he is in category number two. If the patient is between 70 and 90, then he is a category of three. And actually it's not 70 to 90, it's 71 to 90. But you get the point because uh, the, the score is 0 to 70 and then you need 1 so you need 71 to 90 and then you need 91 to 130 that's score number 4 and then everything above 130 is 5 
So here we have one, two, three, four, five categories. And as I said in the beginning, if you have anything here, one or two, you, you, you send the patient home. If you have it four or five, the patient stays in the hospital. If it's three, then you have to decide. You, you send the patient home and you give him a nurse that can treat him at home. Okay, good. And why, why do we have five categories? Why, why, why don't I only have one, two, three? Because I said that one and two stays home, four and five stays in the hospital. Why, why can I not just, just say one, two, three? It's because we have, we have different percentage of mortality. That means that the patient can die within 30 days. And there is a percentage of how many patients can die within 30 days in score one to five. So in score one, there's usually 0.1%, 0.1%. That means one out of thousand people who have a score of one can die within 30 days. Number two, not 0.1, it's 0.6. So six out of, ten, out of thousand people. Number three is 0.9. So we have 0 0.1, 0 0.6, 0 0.9 percent for patient three. And then we have a big jump. From number four, we have 9.3 percent. That's nine, nine times more. Because here we, in one, two, three, we were always below one. So 0 0.1, 0 0.6, 0 0.9, we are below one percent. But at number four, we have 9.3 and, and, and for the fifth category we have 27 percent so it's 27 times more as number three or you can say that it's 270 times more as the number one because this has 27 percent and this only have 0.1 percent so in this way but you sh you should not tell this to the patients that you have 27% uh, uh, risk of dying because that's one out of four. That's really, really high. You should tell, tell the patient that you should stay in the hospital because the risks are too high for you to going home. And we need to treat you here in hospital. So as you see, that's why we need this score. That's why this uh, pneumonia severity index is so important. So let's conclude this again. A patient comes in. A 40-year-old 40 40 year female comes in and I have to decide whether she will stay in the hospital or not. At this point, I can say that she has 30 points already, 30 points, because she's 40 years old, which means she's not in category one anymore. She's already in category number two. It's less than 70, but, it's, but it is uh, more, than one, more than zero. It means that the risk of her dying within 30 days is 0.6%. Now I ask her, do you live in a nursing home? No, she's 40 years old. She don't live in a nursing home. Okay, I don't give any points for that. Previous diseases, uh, does the patient have tumor or not? Yes, the patient tells me that she has a tumor. Okay, I give, him, I give her 30 points, which means that 30 plus 30, it means already 60 points. We are close to the number three here. Then I ask about liver disease, no liver disease. Heart disease, heart failure, no. Vascular disease, no. Kidney disease, no. Uh, then I, this was, these, these were the questions, that was quick. Then I ask, then I look at the examination. Do, is the mental status uh, weird? Do they, does this patient uh, appear weird for me? No. Uh, then I look at the breathing rate. Is it more than 30 per minute? No. Then I measure the blood pressure is it less than 90 or is the pulse more than 125 no uh, then i look at the uh, fever no fever and uh, she have a 36.5 degrees celsius no problem that's good then i look at the lab we go on is the ph lower than 7.35 yes okay then we have 30 points 30 points and 30 points that 90 points we are we are in number three because as you remember from 91 it's number four 90 points is still in number three okay then i look at the blood urine nitrogen 
Is it more than 30 mg per deciliter? No. Sodium, is it less than 130? No. Glucose, is it more than 250 mg per deciliter? No. Hematocrit, less than 30%? No. Oxygen, is it less than 60 mm mercury? That's in the lab. Or is it 90 per, less than 90% when I check in the pulse oximeter? Yes. Okay, so I have less than 90% saturation here, oxygen. I give her 10 points more, so then I have 100 po points. This is now a number, category number four. What do I do? Do, do I send the patient home or do I let her uh, in the hospital with 100 points? Yes, I keep her in the hospital. Why? Because we said these two groups, number four and five, stay in the hospital. Number one and two go home. And number three, we have to decide. It's not, it's not really sure. So to conclude once again, I will, I will repeat this score again so that you can remember it. H, look at the age. If the patient is 50 years of age, male, then he will get 50 points. If he is 70 years of age, he will get 70 points. If it's a female 70 years of age, then he get six, then she gets 60 points. Nursing home. Yes, this old woman is in a nursing home. Then I give her 10 points. Previous diseases. I look at one, two, three, four, five types of diseases. Tumors, liver disease, heart disease, vascular and kidney disease, heart failure, Vascular disease and, and kidney disease all get 10 points. Liver disease get the second highest score, 20%. Wh which, which one do I get also uh, highest for? pH get 30 points. Tumors get 30 points. Mental status, uh, heart, uh, uh, lung rate of more than 30 per minute and blood pressure of less than 90 all get 20 points. So that's quite high too. So the highest points is for tumors, pH, that's it. You have two things here that can give you 30 points. Tumors and pH of less than 7.35. Then you have liver disease can give you 20 points. And all these three can give you 20 points. What do else? And here also, blood, urine, nitrogen in the lab and the sodium level less than 130 can give you 20 points. So these can all give you 20 points. So we have one, two, three, four five, six things that can give you 20 points. Many things can give you 10 points. We had nursing home, 10 points. We have kidney vascular heart disease, 10 points. We had glucose more than 250, 10 points. We had a pulse more than 125 per minute, 10 points. We had an x-ray of 10 points. We had an hematocrit less than 30% and oxygen level less than 90% all 10 points. And the out, the, something that stands out here is 15 points, okay? That is the fever. That's the only thing that gets 15 points and not 10. Okay? Good. Thank you for listening and hopefully this will help you in deciding whether the patient will stay home or stay in the hospital. Thank you very much.